What's up everybody? Adam Cook here. Today I'm going to show you how to identify specific fish on your Lowrance electronics. Being able to correctly identify the fish that you're trying to target is a huge deal when it comes to being successful and efficient on the water. Talking about electronics is a really touchy topic. It's really dynamic. It's not really something you can cover in one video. So today we're just going to break it down and cover the basics of how to identify specific fish on your graph. pretty basic today and I'm going to show you my favorite screens and I can't even believe that I'm about to share with you guys my settings and how I set up my unit but we're going to go over it we're going to talk about it today. When it comes to locating bait, locating fish, really trying to break down exactly what I'm looking for, there's one screen that I absolutely go to and I have to have dialed in on here. Really it's two screens. I'm going to use my down imaging, my side imaging, and my maps. And then I have this other screen right here, which we're going to turn on right now. This is my side imaging, my down imaging, and my 2D. As you can see right now, we're sitting on a big school of bait. One of the reasons I really like to use this screen versus any other screen when I'm actually trying to identify fish and trying to locate them is this right here is going to get me a total image of what's going on. I got my side imaging off to the side. You can see we got some schools of fish over here as well. I got my down imaging, which is more refined image, and I have my 2D. So basically right now, we're using two different frequencies. We're using our 200 kilohertz on our 2D, and we're using 800 on our down imaging and our side imaging. And I'm gonna bump us out of spot lock real quick so y'all can see these images, uh, how they should look. You can see we're on a nice rocky ledge right here on our side imaging. We got a bunch of different fish right here. You see you got a striper right there that's that hard return the more yellow that you see in that image means that it's a harder return so if our target for the day is catfish we wouldn't set up on a bunch of arches that were completely yellow because that would tell us that it's some type of scaled fish or some type of fish with a hard um, uh, with a lot of bone structure throughout its body. If you're talking about a catfish, you got to think about it. They're not scaled. They don't really have a whole lot of bone in their body. The only bones that they have are their rib cage and their skull. If we're specifically looking for a fish like a carp or a striper or a hybrid, as some of y'all have in different parts of the country, we're going to look for those harder returns. Those softer returns are going to show up as red or blue. Right now, we're looking for a little bit of bait to fish with for the day. So I'm going to turn you around I'm going to give you a good example of that right now because we're sitting on a big school. You can go right here. You can see on our 2D, we got a big blob of stuff. Kind of looks like trash. Can't really tell. But if you come over here to our down imaging, which is that harder, more refined image with that 800 kilohertz, that broadband is so much narrow, you can actually count how many fish are in this school if you go through there. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around with the trolling motor. I'm going to get right on top of those fish, and I'm going to take some bait rigs, and I'm going to drop them right down on there. If I had to guess, based off of just what's running in the river right now, this is probably either perch, or it's some hickory shad, or it's some heron. 